Today I think I'm going to do a how-to on replacing the fluid in my front differential in my F-150. Um, I'm going to try and do it without taking the cover off. That way I don't have to deal with, uh, you know, resealing and all that. So if you are slightly interested in this, stick around. In order to do this, um, without uh, removing the cover, I'm going to open up the fill plug and then use my brake fluid bleeder from uh, my favorite place, Harbor Freight, and see if I can get it to uh, participate by sucking the fluid out of um, the differential. Now, you may say, man, why? How, how's that going to work? We'll see if it works, if I can get it down there and get it to uh, draw a vacuum in there. Um, Really and truly, the front differential on my four-wheel drive only works about 1% of the time. It's never got a load on it. You usually, like I said, 99% of the time is freewheeling. So um, I don't think it's that bad if we leave a little bit in there um, and replace it with the new stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Um, and if, uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Well, one of the first issues I have to overcome is I need to remove the skid plate to get to it. I think I could get to it, but it'll be a lot more difficult and a lot harder to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to remove the skid plate and then we'll go from there. All right. The, uh, the uh, lubricant I'm going to be using is 80, 90 weight. Uh, it's the part number that uh, Ford recommends, and I need two quarts, give or take. So that's what we got, two quarts. All right, now we're gonna go take the skid plate off. Um, a little trial and error off the camera has determined that the skid plate is held on by some 13 millimeter bolts. So, let us proceed with removing the 13 millimeter bolts, hopefully. fill plug so I got to break that loose make sure I can get it all the way out and then I'm gonna use the vacuum pump to suck the fluid out of here um, so that's that's the next step and that's what we're working on so here we go oh shit! can't really tell if you can see that because my eyes aren't in focus and I don't have my glasses so I'm gonna bust this loose and there you go. You see me moving it. I didn't pre-do that so it was loose to begin. Well, not loose, but you know, it wasn't seized up. It's only been on there 100,000 miles, so it should have come out pretty easy. So now we're going to see if uh, my brake bleeder works for something that it's not designed for. We'll see. All right. I have a catch pan. And there's the rear end, and I had an extension here somewhere, I just gotta find it, and then we'll be good to go. So there you go, it started leaking as soon as I opened it up, so I assume it was well lubricated. And it's a little yellowish, but what I've heard is that's the grease that they use to make sure that the uh, mesh pattern's good on the ring and pinion, so. I'm, let me find the old uh, extension, 3 8 extension, and I'll take it off the rest of the way, let it drain out, and then we'll pump it out. So hopefully I'm taping this and you can see where I'm going. And there is the fill plug that I loosened up. And then I take it out 
with my extension snaps right in there and then it should drain off whatever it's got to drain out of there Oop, fudge and you drop it in the grease and then you get to go bobbing for apples so as you can see it looks like it was either eh, who knows it's yellow it's not gonna be yellow when I put it back in so but it sure does look overfilled considering it's only supposed to start weeping out and then you have enough in there so I guess they took that to the limit at the Ford and also I got it jacked up over here so that it'll drain a little bit easier and all the fluid will get to this side so we'll let this drain out and then I'll get that pump going all right the draining has dropped to a trickle and uh, now we'll see what we can do with uh, pump the paint pump. So we'll see what we can do with the flexible. So I'm going to take it off, empty it, and then go back at it. Because um, right now it's just blowing grease out the, uh, the blowhole. So I'll uh, do that and we'll get back at it. Well, I know it's loud with the uh, air compressor going, but I'm at my second half of a drain here. And, uh, well, I'm working on the third jug here. Sucking and sucking and sucking. So, uh, I'll dump this one here in a minute and keep going until I can't get any more out of here. All right, well, that's the third or the fourth uh, fill up. I can't remember. I'll remember when I go edit it, but right now I can't remember if it's three or four. It's, it's hell getting old, but uh, I think we got pretty much everything we could out of there and. Uh, I'm gonna empty this, put up the drain pan, and then I'm gonna fill it, fill it back up. So give me a second to clean up and then we'll start filling her back up. All right, so I think I got most of the uh, fluid out. So now I'm gonna replace it. And to do that, I have a pump to pump it out of the quart bottle. So um, I just gotta, Get the bottle open. Once I get the bottle open, then we can go from there. You may recognize my pump from uh, when I did the rear end. So, you know, it's come in handy. Rear end, transfer case, really worth the uh, $4 or whatever I paid for it. So. This stuff looks a lot better than that yellow shit that came out. Oh, I think I got a fire ant bite me in the ass. I'm gonna do the second one, so I'll get you one of them. Alright, I don't know if you can see that, but I filled it up and now it's just barely dripping out of there. I'm gonna put a little more in and then I'm gonna put the cat back in and we'll be done. Other than putting the uh, other than putting the skid plate back on, which you don't need to watch because it's four bolts. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you. And as you can tell I'm doing it on the ground and in my driveway and I'm sure this will save you a few bucks if you do it yourself so thanks for watching please subscribe and have a super day